Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error that is an Unreal process has crashed UE Nightfall, low level fatal error, or if you're receiving this error, GPU crash dump triggered. So if you're receiving this error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to restart the computer. And after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to install easy anti-cheat. Now for this, you can go to the game folder, make a right click, manage browse local files. Now open easy anti-cheat folder, open easy anti-cheat setup, make a right click. You don't have to open it, make a right click and then click on show more option. Then click on create shortcut and now make a right click on shortcut, go to properties and here you can see target. At the end, you have to type in this that is install space prod dash fn after one space so after inverted comma give one space so after inverted comma there is one space install space prod dash fn and then hit apply and then click on ok and then you can make a right click on shortcut and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow this will you will see this command prompt window for us um, second and it will go away even if you don't see anything still you can launch the game and then check still not working then verify the game files make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrated game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to verify which we have already done next step is to run the game using this start protected game file now for this make a right click on the game select manage browse local files now make a right click on start protected and then run as administrator and then you can check still not working the next step is to rename this slpcl.dll file now for this uh, go to the game installation folder open the engine folder plugins folder uh, not go back open nightfall folder and then open the plugins folder and then open streamline core folder binaries third party win64 and here you can see this sl PCL DLL file. In my case, I've already renamed it. So let me first of all create a backup. So if you if you want to create a backup, so you will see this file. Make a right click and then copy this, paste it to the desktop. Once you have a backup created, now you can make a right click on this file and then type in .old. Just rename this file and then you can launch the game. You already have a backup, so if you face any problem, you can put the original file back. Now the next step is to try power saver mode. Now to try to try power saver mode, type in control panel in Windows search box. Go to control panel and then go to hardware and sound. Go to power options over here. So in my case, I have only one option that is balanced. In your case, uh, you might see this power saver. So you can select power saver and then relaunch the game. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. Select power saver and then check. If that does not work, you can even go for balanced. You can even try high performance. So check one by one and check which one is working fine for you. Now, if you're using this Intel Extreme Tuning Utility software, if you're not using it, you can install it from Google. You can search and then go to Intel website, install it. And then you can go to performance score ratio. Now, if this is set to like 59X or 58X, you can try 56X, maybe 55 or 53. So lower down performance score ratio and then hit apply and then you have to relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to increase the virtual memory now for this type in view advanced system settings in windows search and then click on view advanced system settings and then under advanced click on the first settings over here and then go to advanced tab over here and then click on change now over here by default this would be checked over here so you have to uncheck this box and then select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size and then initial size uh, is you can try this 1.5 into total ram you can check the total ram in windows settings go to system and then go to about option over here so in my case uh, it's a uh, 16 gb ram so we have to convert this to megabyte so for this uh, 16 gigabyte if you have eight you have which um, like if you have eight you can you have to calculate accordingly in my case it's 16 
uh, so 16 we have to convert this to megabyte into 1024 that is 16384 multiply 1 1.5 multiply 1.5 so this would be the initial size that is 24576 for maximum size total ram into uh, total ram 3 into total ram now for total ram again uh, 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024 and in multiplied 3 so it's 49152 in my case maximum 49152 so this is as per my ram so you, you have to calculate according to your ram and then click on set over here and then click on ok and then you have to restart the computer restart the computer and then check if that does not work again open view system settings over here and then click on it go to first settings advanced change and this time uh, you can select this system manage side so if the previous one does not work you can set it to system manage side and then click on ok and then click on ok and then restart the computer restart is a must after this and after the system restart check now still not working you can just change it to default that is automatically manage paging file and then click on ok apply ok and then restart the computer after the system restart launch the game still not working you can skip this step if you are not able to launch the game if you are able to launch the game you can try these things so launch the game if you are able to launch the game Uh, you can go to settings over here click on settings and then go to video settings over here now you can try window mode if it is set to full screen you can try window full screen or you can switch to window mode and lower down this resolution if this is set to 4k you can try 1920 into 1080p and you can even lower down more and then check and whenever you make any changes that make sure that you save apply the changes and then if the VSync is off, you can turn it on and then check. If it is already on, you can turn it off. So try both on and off and then check. In my case, I have uh, set the frame rate to 60. Uh, you can try this. Motion blur is off in my case. Quality preset, if this is set to like ultra, uh, in that case, you can uh, set it to high. You can even go for medium uh, quality. So try to lower down. Uh, let me set it to medium and then scroll down so over here you can see reflection uh, if this is set to you know you can turn this off over here. now and then save and then check hdr is on you can uh, turn off hdr and then check so try to lower down and super sampling if you are uh, using NVIDIA DLSS, in that case, you can set it to quality and, and then check. Um, in my case, I am setting it to TSR. And then you can save the settings and then you can check the performance. Now, the next step is to uh, run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now, for this, you can go to desktop NVIDIA users, uh, make a right click on the desktop, go to show more option, click on NVIDIA control panel. And once NVIDIA control panel is open, now go to manage 3D settings and then go to program settings and then click on add, go to the game installation folder. If you see the game over here, select the game from here or you can click on browse, go to the game installation folder. In my case, this is the location and select the game exe file, click on open. And once the game is added over here, select high performance NVIDIA process at the bottom right, click on apply and then launch the game and then you can check still not working go to nvidia control panel manage 3d settings go to global settings over here and then over here click on restore click on yes and once the restore is done now click hit apply at the bottom right apply is important and then you have to relaunch the game and then check still not working uh, now type in graphic settings in windows search box go to graphic settings uh, not the display graphics settings go to graphic settings and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder open the game folder select the game exe file click on add 
once the game is added over here click on the game over here and select high performance you will see your graphic card now launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to now this is for desktop users make sure that you connect the hdmi cable or the display cable to the dedicated graphic card slot not the intel one now the next step is to rename or delete the config folder now for this uh, when you delete the config folder rename it or delete it all the saved settings will be lost when you launch the game it will compile the status once again so uh, in that case uh, you can go to file explorer go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open app data if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder local folder find nightfall make a right uh, open this nightfall saved and here you can see config folder so if you see config uh, you can just make a right click and then you can re rename it if you want to create a backup you can create a backup rename it once you rename it now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to run this file now for this you can go to game installation folder and in the search you can search for this file make a right click open file location i think this is the location yeah make a right click and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow if not installed you will see install button and then you can install it and then check in my case it is already installed now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game manage browse local files and then open this folder binaries win64 make a right click on the game exe file select properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game and then check still not working this time you can put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game still not working this time you can select windows 7 hit apply click on ok launch the game you can even try disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check now if you face any problem in that case you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply click on ok follow the next step now the next step is to now allow the game exe file to your windows security so open windows settings go to privacy and security windows security click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add and allowed app browser apps now go to the game installation folder and then select this exe file click on open add an allowed app browser apps open nightfall binaries win64 select this one open again browse all apps and then go back again back back easy anti-cheat select this exe file and then click on open now do the same thing in the control panel so open control panel system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall change settings allow another app click on browse again select all the exe file do the same thing open add in my case it is already added again click on allow another app and then select this exe file click on open click on add again browse and then open the easy anti-cheat folder and then select the easy anti-cheat setup i have added everything once the game is added now you can launch the game and then check still not working uh, if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow all the exe file to your antivirus program the same thing now the next step is to disable or enable hardware accelerated gpu scheduling now for this open windows settings go to system go to display go to scroll down go to graphics and then click on advanced graphics option over here if this is off turn it on and then relaunch the game and then check if this is already on turn it off and then check check which one is working fine for you next step is to perform clean installation of your graphics card driver so go to nvd website if you have nvidia card if you have amd card go to amd website select your gra graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card your operating system and then click on fine and then on this page you will see the latest graphic card driver at the very top and game 
GeForce Game Ready Driver. The, this is the latest one right now. Whichever is the latest, click on View and then download the file. And then once the download is complete, you can run this exe file. Now, once you run the exe file, now click on Agree and Continue. Select Custom Option. Click on Next. Put a check on the box which says Perform a Clean Installation. Make sure that you put a check over here and then click on Next. And once installed, restart the computer. After the system restart, you can launch the game. Next step is to remove DX11 from the launch option. So if you are using this DirectX11, any kind of launch option over here, remove it and then launch the game. But for me, dash DX12 is working fine. So you can give it a try. If that does not work, remove this and then follow the next step. Now the next step is to roll back graphics card driver. So if the latest graphic card driver is not working, uh, in that case, uh, on this page, when after you select the graphic card, uh, you can scroll down, click on view more version. Maybe you can try previous one like 576.88 or maybe 576.80. But when you go for installation, make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to install Visual C++ file. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website scroll uh, scroll down download this x86 and x64 download both the files so download both x86 and x64 over here and then run both the exe file so run this x64 if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow run this x86 file as well Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install and let the installation complete. Once both are installed, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Now, still not working. The next step is to update the BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number and then update the BIOS. Before you update the BIOS, in case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Update Windows to the latest version. For this, go to Windows Update or Update and Security and then click on Check for Update. Once all the updates are installed, restart the computer and then launch the game. Next step is to unplug all the external devices. So if you have any kind of uh, external devices which are not using, disconnected. If you have any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnected. If you have hotas, wheel, pedals, any kind of extra. Sometimes we have extra controller, the dongle connected, disconnected. Disconnect multiple monitor. Disable Steam overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select Manage, uh, sorry, select Properties, turn off the option which says Enable the Steam overlay while in game. Turn this off and then check. If you have any other overlay application running like Discord running, go to Discord Settings, turn off overlay. If you have Nvidia app running, go to Nvidia app Settings and turn off Nvidia app overlay. Close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Also close all the Overclock. First of all, do not overclock. If you have overclocked your computer, set it to default. Close all the overclocking application like MSI Afterburner, Revertuner. If you have any third party application or services running, close it and close it from the task manager as well. Also, if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, uh, make a right click, uninstall, manage, uninstall. After the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder and then restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to different drive like D drive or E drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.